Hello everyone, welcome to a concept discussion for Starship Depot and Kerbal Space Program 1.12 with Realism Overhaul. This is the basic idea, but there are things that I still need to do. It is my hope to eventually release it as a mod, which is compatible with P.E.K.K.A.'s Starship mod. P.E.K.K.A. made the parts, uh, th these parts in particular, uh, which are critical to the idea and the hardest parts to make because they have animation. Uh, so I'll discuss what makes it all special in a moment. Uh, but yes, yeah, so those are animated solar panels and radiators. And then I used the ISS parts from NASA in order to make the baseline structure here, and I made the trusses myself. And uh, Pekka insisted that there should be trusses instead of like the few lines going inside the modules. Uh, so I made the trusses, but I still need to make a splitter truss, basically a T truss. You know, right now we've got an N truss, a continuer truss, but we don't have a splitter truss that can... Uh, sort of make this capable of branching out, which we need because the finned starships cannot dock to these locations. And I'll explain why in a moment, but maybe you can guess. We've got these solar panels and radiators there, and they rotate around this platform. So only a tank that does not have fins, a starship tank, so we're looking for a 9 meter diameter tank, though. An SLS core tank could also be placed here, 8.4 meters, it's not too bad, and in that case it's a Hydrolox Depot. Uh, or we could have a mix of the two. But I need a Mephalox Depot in particular because I redesigned the Shinkansen to use a depot. The Shinkansen space plane uses methane and oxygen, and I wanted a Starship Depot so that I could dock to it and use it. Of course, the Shinkansen also cannot dock to these locations because it has wings. And Again, these solar panels are meant to rotate around the tanks. And the reason they do so is to prevent boil off. And to give you a better idea of this, let me switch to Blender because we, uh, we don't have the solar panel animation going inside the SPH. But basically, it turns so that the solar panels are facing the sun, obviously. Uh, that will be automatic in KSP. As long as this direction appears north, that direction is south, and then this is fore and aft, uh, so in direction of prograde and retrograde. And then the solar panels point at the sun uh, when it's in orbit around the Earth, and the tank, the starship tank that is placed here, will be partly shielded from the sun's hot rays. And that will reduce boil off, and then the radiators would also help reduce boil off. And so, of course, these would... Well, let's not rotate them like that. Uh, okay. So, obviously... Yeah. So, obviously, these will be unfurled. I mean, uh, these will be uh, tucked in. Not unfurled. Tucked in. When Starship attempts to dock. Uh, this bit should probably not retract. And that's because the docking node will not go along with it. If we take a look here, uh, Pekka was interested in this because it had to be compatible with Pekka's starship and so that's why Pekka took the effort to make all this uh, even though it's my concept and so this quick disconnect port matches up with Pekka's starship disconnect port and it actually acts as a docking port so the starship would dock here I did in fact do a test docking and that works and so we would have a tank alone starship dock here no fins, and um, then the little solar panels will go around it as described. But again, this is not a good location for the finned ones or the Shinkansen because the, the solar panels would start hitting it once they're actually unfurled. Or we could just, uh, you know, retract them again. As long as they're retracted, then a finned starship or a Shinkansen could dock here. And maybe I'll consider that as an option. Uh, but, yeah, so if we imagine that it's easy to <laughs> retract solar panels, which is, is, it is not. It is actually really hard to retract solar panels once they're extended in real life. But, yeah, the concept is that we would have solar panels arranged this way to shield the tanks. And I don't know if that's an idea that people have had before. I haven't seen it before, a uh, station oriented this way. There might be good ideas why we don't want that. I don't know what those are. Uh, but, yeah, uh, but if somebody knows that somebody has had this idea before, please tell me. Uh, I'm not going to patent it or anything, but, you know, it'd be nice to know. 
Uh, so yeah, that is the basic idea. And these are just ISS modules that have been enlarged. They're not the normal size. And uh, this is uh, this actually used to be a Harmony module, but I've put a little end piece to it. So it's not the original look, but this is basically an enlarged Destiny module. And I think it's like six meters in diameter. It's about 1.25 times the original. And that's because I didn't want small ones. And I wanted uh, the modules to be about the size that uh, Starship itself could carry. Now, that gets to the problem. <laughs> uh, so, Starship could carry these modules fine. Probably not these modules with the trusses already docked. So we would have to put the trusses separately. The truss, uh, we currently have docking ports at the bottom, these pass-through docking ports that I use. And the trusses themselves, these end trusses have a docking port on top. Uh, they already come with that. This connector one doesn't have any docking ports at all. It just has uh, positions on the bottom and front and aft. Uh, but the problem is, the problem is, when you make something like this, it is really hard to get this to fit into Starship itself. It was built to sort of go around Starship, right? So the Starship's diameter fits in here. So uh, we've tried sort of angling it a bit here and there, and it doesn't quite fit in Starship. So that means either we launch it on SLS with a 10 meter fairing, or we take a tank only Starship and put a fairing on top of it, and you know, a bigger fairing, not nine meters, but 10 meters, and then it could fit in there, uh, which is sad because, you know, it's not that heavy. Um, so it's a little bit overkill. It's, it's an interesting question about how best to launch it. And now Pekka made the, that part retract in the hope of fitting it into Starship. And like that, it probably would. Uh, then it would be fine, I think. But you can see what the problem is. This port doesn't go along with it because it's on the attachment node. And there's no easy way to get the attachment node to move like that. Uh, there are like rotating attachment nodes for like Infernal Robotics or something like that. But to get it to translate like that without rotating, I, mean, uh, I think Pekka said that he could translate it there. But then getting it to rotate as well is a whole other business too. So it's like either translation or rotation, but not both. So. Yeah, it's a, it's a complicated thing about how to launch this particular piece uh, because of the, this length from there to there. And, and then also having all the little panels and radiators not stick out. So uh, thinking about that, the test time that I did it, I tested the docking to the quick disconnect port and the test uh, time we just had a tank only with a fairing on top. So that might be how I end up doing it. Or we could use SLS, though I think we'd just reserve SLS for having a depot like this around the moon, which the moon will certainly need eventually. So there, are, there is, of course, opportunity for expansion here. We've got docking ports here and here and more on top there. So we could make this a much larger station, but it's pretty big already. Um, it doesn't have proper interiors I mean it doesn't have proper interiors that the Kerbals would see and you could go into IVA view for but actually it does have the ISS interiors because I'm I, I don't know why uh, I probably should delete those before releasing the mod because it just makes the mod bigger and you guys can't actually see that stuff in practice unless you know except in the VAB or SPH you could poke in here and see it but uh, in flight you won't be able to use it the IVA view will just be one of the stock modules. So anyway, lots of work to be done on this particular mod, but this is the idea. Uh, I don't know if there was, there's been a discussion about what the Starship Depot would look like. Uh, I haven't seen any mock-ups of it, so, but then I wasn't looking very hard. I just came up with this idea because I needed something for Shinkansen. So I wonder if you guys like it or not. Do you think this is a good idea? The way it is arranged, uh, leave comments uh, to that effect. But for now, having introduced this idea, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.